Uh, <clears throat> just a couple quick things, and then I'll take questions. Um, I, you know, I, I think that uh, the one thing I'll say about uh, North Carolina Greensboro is uh, I agree with their coach. I don't think they're anywhere close to an eight seed. I think they should be a five or six seed at the most. Um, when you watch them play, they, had, they beat East Tennessee State twice, and they lost on a last second three to Wake Forest. Uh, and, and when you watch them play, they're a very, very good team, and they do a lot of different things offensively and defensively. And they shoot the ball probably better than anybody we've seen from the three-point line at 39%. I think Aloso is probably the best three-point shooter. If he's not the best in the country, he's close to it at 47%, 51% in the league from the three-point line. So to me, they're one of the best teams we've played in a long time. And uh, I, you really <coughs> you, you don't have to look at what tournament you're in. If you were in the NCAA, you wouldn't play a better team than this, in my mind. And uh, the NIT, if you look at the teams, there's a lot of teams you could say that about that are really, really good teams. And this is one of them. And uh, I think it's better that way with the disappointment of not being in the tournament for our players to know they have to go out and play against a team that's as good and should probably be in the NCAA tournament based on what they did. Uh, and uh, I think that's something that's good for our players to understand. <clears throat> They're not, the players aren't going to talk today because they haven't got the scouting report yet. They don't know who this team is right now. So I do, and that's why I'm here. So I'll take questions too. Jimmy, have you gotten a chance to talk to them after yesterday? And how are they? I haven't talked to them. But you're going to talk to them now. They're players that have to understand, and as they do, that the next game is what's important for them personally and for us as a team and a program. You want to go and put your best foot forward whenever you play, individually or as a, as a, as a team. And uh, I think we'll do that. What do you think about a couple of the experimental rules in the NIT? You know, we'll see. I don't know until we get in there. We'll see how they work. I think the. The foul rule is the interesting one. We'll see how that plays out. That's the, the one that has a chance to be a difference maker in a game. Jim, I know the NIT chair said this is a complete coincidence that you played this for. Do you believe that? He's a very good friend of mine. I talked to him two minutes ago. He said he did not know. He did not know until they told him after when he was going down to the press conference. Now, if somebody else manipulated it, I don't know. But he is a longtime, very close personal friend of mine for over 30 years. And he wouldn't tell a lie to save his own life. And he said he did not. He did not know. I think they knew we were going to be in the NIT a week ago. That's what I think. Why do you think that? Because he told me. Is it appropriate for them to decide that that early? I don't think so. But he f he got every indication that Syracuse would be in the NIT over a week ago. And the way they said it, I, I believe that's absolutely true. The way the chairman came out and said well, they were 2-11 and, and that's it, you know. Again, the thing was decided this year on how many losses you had. Last year, the tournament was decided on that you beat people. Obviously, they said that. I talked to six, eight committee members. Many of them are still on the committee this year. Last year, when we were at the Final Four, and every one of them said, you're here because you beat people. And this year, we're not there because we lost games. I mean, that's obvious. It's not me trying to, it's not me thinking, it's the, it's the facts. That's why we're not there. They said that. And I think every team on the bubble, not every team, but a lot of teams on the bubble had a lot of bad losses. And uh, 
they got in. Or the biggest thing that was different this year with the tournament that I hadn't said and I think is a little surprising, there's always been, for the last eight to ten years, there's always been one criteria that you had to have a good non-conference schedule if you were a bubble team. This year that was not enforced. That rule was not enforced this year. And it also was not enforced in the seeding. Some teams got high seeds with no non-conference schedule. So that was the one thing that was different that nobody has really uh, talked about. But that's always been something that the committee has big, each member has big discretions of what he kind of likes or doesn't like, or he or she, but they've never really wavered from the fact that South Carolina last was it two years ago? Was it last year or two years ago? Was 25 and something, and they didn't they didn't get in. They said you didn't play anybody. Uh, I'm racking my brain here. Southern Cal. Was I'm not. Playing. I'm not saying you know, that's not my. That's not for me to say. I think you have to look and see. Do some research, but you know that's. And and as I said yesterday, I think Wake Forest should be in the tournament, but. They were obviously one of the last four teams in, and we were the first team out. So obviously it was very close between Wake Forest and Syracuse. And we finished ahead of them in the league. We had three top ten wins, and we beat them. And the committee has always said, if it's really close, we're going to look at head-to-head. -head. That's not what happened. And I think Wake Forest should be in the tournament. Yeah, that's, that's it's, it, it, it's, everybody knows that, but it's not going to be that way. <laughs> Conference tournaments make money. Coach, what kind of challenge is it for you and the other coaches to kind of recalibrate your guys or, you know, get them to kind of refocus when it's understandably a letdown? Well, everybody that's in is going to, there's going to be a letdown, but you have to realize that it's a game and it's a tough game and, if you have pride, you're going to want to go out and play well. And, uh, you know, we could play well and lose to, to North Carolina Greensboro. I have no doubt about that. I mean, they're a good team. They could, beat, they could beat us, and I would not be shocked. They're a really, really good team, and they're playing well. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to play well.